Hello, everybody, and welcome to StarNet Link. And today we have a guest on my channel. So why don't you go ahead, Amber, and introduce yourself to the audience? Yeah, so my name is Amber, and I currently live in uh, Phoenix, Arizona, and I am currently working full time. And recently, I had kind of felt that, you know, my life was very stressful and I had a lot of just really traumatic events happening all at once. Um, and so it kind of put me in this place where I ultimately felt like I had kind of hit a rock bottom per se. And during that time, I kind of retracted from a lot of things and people and places in my life. And once I did that, I opened up to the idea of not only spirituality, but then I started looking into a lot of disclosure topics, UAP phenomena, stuff like that. And then I came across the term starseed and I started heavily. Re and I started looking into the, all the different types of starseeds and ultimately then um, used my natal chart to look up my starseed origins um, using a guide from a couple different, you know, online um, uh, people in the spiritual community who are kind of known for, you know, reading natal charts and stuff like that. Um, and so I determined that I, from my natal chart that I'm in, Arcturian starseed. Um, and then I actually also had a reading done by uh, JJ Brighton. And she confirmed this for me in that Starseed origin reading. So I just feel so at peace right now knowing my origins. And um, I'm currently working on trying to use, you know, kind of those abilities and gifts from the Arcturians um, to really, you know, uh, move the pro ascension process along. Um, so that's just a little bit about me. So in a sense, did you have some sort of like a awakening process prior to this or did you just, it, did it just stumble across in your life? Yeah. So I think looking back on it now, like I feel like over the past couple of weeks, so this happened a couple of weeks ago and over the past couple of weeks, I've just started remembering things in my past and moments in time, you know, before where. I had something happen, like a like a psychic feeling or, you know, my intuition had saved me at some point. Like I'm starting to remember those memories and say, oh, that was, you know, part of my awakening. So I'm just really feeling like I did see signs before, but I didn't know what they were. And now I really feel like all the puzzle pieces are fitting together and everything is just making sense. Like all my you... questions are being answered. Oh, that's wonderful. That's that's yeah. really wonderful. Have you gotten any type of contact from your galactic family or have you been getting contact in general just by other beings or other entities in your life? So I haven't really had much contact with my galactic family. I think I'm still trying to open up that communication, you know, using meditation and other methods. However, I did do a deep meditation the other day and I really felt like I traveled to a place where I met them. Um, the reason why I say that is because I, I felt this overwhelming sense of like proudness and I just felt these people kind of telling me in this meditation, I really couldn't visualize who they were or what you know anything about it but all I kind of was just hearing in my head was we're so proud of you you're doing what you're supposed to um it was just a very warm and loving feeling it was more parental than even my own you know human parents it was more loving and supportive than that which is you know a lot because my human parents are very supportive of me and it was just so much love that I felt it, it was unlike anything I've ever felt and so I really felt like that was them talking to me while you were talking to them and interacting with them, is there something that you started to learn about them that you did not learn before or what other star seeds might know about the Arcturians? Did you learn something new about them? No. So unfortunately, I didn't learn anything during that during that kind of um meeting or, you know, 
you know, conversation that was going on. But over time, like within the last few weeks, I have just heavily researched the Arcturians. And in the reading I had got from JJ Brighton, she had told me that DNA that's in the Arcturian, you know, um, you know, that, that in the origin, you know, they say that they have highly intelligent DNA and that they are going to be the ones who are going to be able to, you know, help this ascension process for most of humanity. Um, so I think that they're trying to allude to the fact that I need to um, really open up my uh, like gifts and abilities. I think that's something that they were really trying to um, allude to. Now, I don't know if you might know about this, but have you ever heard of the Schumann Resonance? I have not, actually. So the Schumann Resonance is the vibrational frequency of the planet. A lot of people also call it the heartbeat of the planet. Um, the last couple of weeks, there has been spikes with the Schumann Resonance. And so I'm kind of curious if you awoken during the change of the Schumann residence. That's really interesting that you bring that up um, because I feel like I, so I actually reached out to a couple of friends who were spiritual about this and they also started having like a mini awakening when I started talking they really resonated with like being a star seed and um i actually looked up their natal charts as well um and you know i did see some origins now obviously i'm not an expert on this by no means so i told them take it with a grain of salt but also your intuition is going to lead you ultimately to the correct information um and so it's funny you bring that up because i feel like not only my friends but i feel the sense that more people are awakening and I, I really believe that in the last couple of weeks, you know, those spikes really generally could be people like starting to remember. And like, I feel like the planet is going under a kind of, it's going, it, it's, it's feeling that people are awakening. And so it's like giving little spikes, right. But we're just not at, you know that level that it needs yet um but that that's really that you really really interesting that you bring that up during this awakening process um has it been hard for you to start like integrating yourself in human culture or society or has been things been difficult for you in the past recent weeks say that i've always felt a sense of not belonging um I went through a really hard mental health um situation you know when I was in college especially um I was very depressed because I just felt like I didn't belong you know I felt like everyone else had their earth but I didn't right now and that's when I you know want to go back to previously mentioning that there were points in time in my life where my intuition had to really helped me out that was one of those times where my intuition kept telling me hold on there's you know, you have something big coming, you just got to get through this moment, you know. Um, and so, yeah, I would definitely say, um, yeah, there were there, there were a lot of signs as well. The, the other question that I have, the other question that I have for you is, um, what type of thing that you have started to learn becoming a starseed? Like, what are the, some of the hurdles that you have found when you were starting out in the starseed community or this community in general in the spiritual community? So I think the biggest thing, and I, I really think the biggest hurdle is getting people to believe you, getting people to understand what you're talking about, right? Like, you know, one of the one of the hardest things for me to kind of integrate this, um, you know, this whole realization for me is the fact that, you know, my parents think I'm delusional. <laughs> um, and it's really, really hard for me to explain it to them in a way that they would understand, because a lot of these. 
um, a lot of the a lot of the stuff that we're talking about here just hasn't been it hasn't been proven by you know um, people that the general public would believe, aka scientists, you know, physicists, AKA stuff like that. Obviously, we know that there's so much more that exists on a big spiritual technical level, right? But you know, most of the general public doesn't know that, and so it's really really hard for me personally to know that all of this information exists and there's so much that everyone else doesn't know but if you go to share that information they're not going to believe you right like that's that's been the hardest thing for me is wanting to tell a lot of the people I care about about this huge thing that's going on in my life this huge realization but understanding that they probably won't understand or take me seriously yeah, I can, t- I can definitely understand that. That was the same thing when I awakened. I, I awakened um extremely young. I awakened up when I was 16. So I went through the entire awakening process alone. And I learned the hard way. Oh my not gosh. To, I, did, I learned the hard way not to speak to my own family about this because right. um, my brother at the time, started overhearing my conversations with other people and thought that I was crazy and he was trying to convince my parents that I was crazy and that that I needed to be hospitalized and that's so scary growing up as an adolescent because I feel like when you're that young like you just want you know that's your first kind of take freedom not only that but freedom to express yourself freedom to speak about the stuff that you want to like you're starting to feel comfortable in your own self and I feel like that's so hard when that just gets taken away have you so when you're first starting out in the star seed and spiritual community a lot of people call it the matrix effect have you been getting a pushback since your awakening like like you feel like you're being a sense like being watched or being targeted in oh, a yeah. sense. Um so like when you say watched, being watched by who exactly? Like my galactic family or I would say like mostly or... by like by negative forces. Okay. No, I don't think so. I don't feel that. I mean, is that common for people to feel that during the process? I'm just curious. Yes, it's very normal for the matrix, matrix actually, feeling. Now that I think about it, it only happens at night, actually. I, I will admit it happens at night. Um, Like, I don't know why, but I have this fear of the dark now that I never used to have. Um, And at nighttime, like when I'm in bed and I'm meditating, I just feel like someone's in the room with me, like watching me. And sometimes it feels okay. And then sometimes it feels negative. Yeah, that's, that's but it definitely pretty... makes me a little uneasy. Yeah, that's that's actually kind of pretty normal, actually. Yeah. The reason being is because we're most vulnerable at nighttime, and a lot of the entire half of the population of Earth is in their sleep state or within the subconscious collective at night. So we're very easily influenced mm-hmm. during the time that we are asleep when half the population is asleep. Gotcha. That makes sense. Have you met others along your journey in the Starseed community? Have you started connecting with other people from the Arcturian Starseeds? So I actually haven't. Um, That's something that I'm trying to really um, get involved in in the coming weeks. But I will say that I feel like as I continue in my human life and meet new people, I feel this sense of like knowing if they're good or bad in a sense. Like I can feel um, if they radiate, you know, positive or negative energy. Um, And I feel sometimes that when I meet certain people, I feel their Arturian origin just based off of the vibes that they give off. Um, so I'm hoping that I can kind of pick up on that a little more and, you know, start using that to maybe find other Arcturians near me, uh, because ultimately my goal would be to help people, you know, like I did with my friends, realize what's going on. 
have you have you found your star purpose yet like your mission like what you're like supposed to do in general here so not exactly i tried googling you know the arcturian mission and all that and you know the the vague basic answer that i'm getting is we are here to help people kind of rediscover who they are and help with this awakening process um but I'm not sure on a specific level yet what my mission is. Yeah, that's understandable. It usually takes newer star seeds a couple of years to start figuring out mm-hmm. what their actual mission is and stuff. Yeah. The other question that I have for you is what is some of the I guess, in a sense, what is something that you're still trying to learn as a new starseed waking up? And what have you discovered that might help other awakening starseeds in the process? So the biggest thing for me that I'm looking to learn is um, how to connect with, you know, my spirit guides, my galactic family. Um, I think and this is just, you know, an assumption for me, but I think maybe there's a either communication pathway or communication channel that maybe hasn't quite opened up. I feel like when I'm in a deep med- meditative state, it opens up, but, um, you know, it's not, it's very rare that I'll connect with, you know, these higher beings that are, you know, specific to me. However, um, to answer the second part of your question, I think the biggest thing for starseeds to know is it's not going to be instant. The biggest lesson I've learned right now is I'm trying to have all my questions answered immediately now that I know that all of this stuff exists. But in reality, it takes time. And that's and I'm definitely an impatient person. And so I feel like the hardest thing for me to kind of settle with was also just being patient with the process, right? Like I spent so many hours one day Googling on Reddit, when will the ascension take place? When will the new earth happen? And it's like, we just don't know. Like, we just don't know that stuff yet, right? Like we don't have a specific pinpoint on the answers to our questions because it's just so new. The other the other question that I have for you is when you were awakening up and trying to research information have you started to figure out that some of the information might be disinformation or information that might be used against the spiritual community or sarsi community or are you still Uh, definitely i've definitely seen some you know disinformation especially like by the government the government definitely like on the other side, like on the on the alien UFO side of this, the government wants none of this to come out, right? And so they are going to do everything they can make people not believe. And so on the star seed side to that, that just means that you know that distant, like you know, they talk about like the Greys and the um and the other races, you know, coming to Earth and all that, um. But for most of my, the information side, a lot of these visitations are not hostile. They are positive. Um, and I feel like the government is trying to make it seem negative. Do you think that the general population away from the Sarsi community, like the general population that has no idea, has absolutely no clue about our community or anything about UFOs or has never heard about this type of stuff due to the fact that they don't have access to the internet and stuff. Do you think that certain government and our general population is ready for the awakening process or ready for this information? Yes and no. Um, I think there's a portion of the population that is, and that's open mind to it, and could see it as real. However, there is another part of me that knows for a fact there's a population that will say it is fake news. They will not be- 
believe it and they will go out of their way to make people not believe it. And ultimately, I think those people are not going to ascend with us into this new earth. They are not going to ascend because they're just not going to be on that higher level of consciousness and they won't have the certain vibrational frequencies to join us. Right. And like, that's just it. Like, I personally think like the people who believe and the people who will make themselves known and those that won't, won't. So the so the question that I have for every star seed because every star seed has different visions and understanding, mm-hmm. but what is your envision or understanding what the new Earth is supposed to be or what is it supposed to be like? Yeah, I think the new Earth definitely is supposed to have three main components, which is peace, love, and unity. Um, And I think that actually came, I think I heard that phrase from the Arcturians one time um, while I was researching, but ultimately like that is where we should be, right? Like it would be a place without greed and hate and division. You know, um, I, I was reading that the new earth, you know, our current earth was never made to have all the racism that it does and all of the hatred that it does, right? Like we were, we were never supposed to see race, right? Like, and so the Galactic Federation has already made it clear that that's, you know, not something that exists in other, in other community or in other places, Um, you know, like America is the only place where we have blatant race or not America but earth right is the only place that there's like blatant racism and I could be wrong there could be other there could be other negative um races that also do that but generally speaking you know from what we know um it's been an issue therefore um I'm sorry go repeat your question again Oh, what is your envision or what is your understanding about the right. new earth? Right. Yes. So, so going back to what I was saying about racism, I, it would be a place without racism and hatred, right? Like everyone would see each other for the person they are inside and not on the outside. I think that's such a hard lesson right now for the people of this earth to understand. Um, but ultimately this new earth would you know, be a place without that, right? Like we would move to a more community oriented earth where people do things for the good of their neighbor or, you know, the person next to them. And it wouldn't be so, you know, self-centric, right? Like we would work together as a collective and not working on our own. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's really understandable. As a new, newly awakened star seed and still learning about your journey, have you noticed that a lot of the things that are going on in our society seems like it's been orchestrated or has this has been done on purpose because a lot of races don't want us to ascend? Or do you think mm-hmm. this is our own this is our own doing? No, I definitely think a lot of stuff has been caused by um, external forces. Now, why that could be, I think there's a million different reasons. But like you said, I do think there are some races that don't want us to ascend. They want us to stay in their control. Um, Now, I think a lot of the stuff to do with the government and, you know, um, a lot of just corruption that we see in, in in our current earth right now, I think that is orchestrated for sure. I think that there's, and of course, you know, it's really unfortunate that the general public doesn't know a lot about this, but you know, I'm, I'm at least happy that there's a portion of the community that does, but um, yeah, I would definitely say a lot of stuff that's happening right now is not just for the heck of it. It's definitely being, you know, caused by something, someone, some race. Um, and it's definitely, you know, trying to prevent us from being bleep, but just being the best that we can. What do you think is the most important thing for newer newer star seeds or people who have been part of the spiritual community and star seed community for a very long time? 
what do you think that us as a Sarsi community can help the general public with trying to understand us and or to get them on board with the new earth trying to unite people like what do you think that we should start to be doing looking f- looking at it from a newer star seed standpoint just starting mm-hmm. or starting going into the community what do you think that we should s- start be doing or do you think there's a lot of stuff that needs to be done yeah uh I think it really just takes a really, really open mind. You really have to open your mind and your consciousness to the fact that this even exists in the first place. You know, up until now, this is science fiction. This is something you'd see in a science fiction, like a hardcore science fiction book. Um, And like when you think about it on on like a real level. And so it takes a very open mind but also you have to believe like you have to believe in it like you can't you can't just sell yourself short and be like no that doesn't exist right like in the first couple of days when I was awakening I had these things happen in these signs um but I just kept telling myself no it doesn't exist it's not real etc and I feel like that right there was just preventing me from opening up fully and really starting that awakening process. And I think it's really limiting to, you know, kind of contradict yourself. So my biggest piece of advice is just believe, set your intention also, like setting intentions is so helpful for receiving information um, and just letting yourself kind of take, take over this process. So as you were going through the ascension process and going through the stuff with your family and learning about all this information about your starseed origins and stuff, what type of advice would you give newer starseeds that are just starting to just starting to enter this community? Like what should you tell them or what should you tell them to start with when starting their journey and understanding themselves? So my biggest thing is when you're starting out, don't share it with anyone. It's going to discourage you if you share it with someone and they don't believe you. It, I think it'll discourage you and it's just another form of um, kind of preventing yourself from full awakening. And so I would say research what you can, you know, keep it to yourself and until you really understand it. And then once you feel ready to share it with someone that you really trust and someone that you know is going to support you, then I would say something to them about it and say, hey, I'm going through this thing. I would like your thoughts on it. And, you know, just see what they say and see if they're supportive. I think I, I really truly think that real friends and people who are supposed to be in your life are going to support you no matter what. They're not going to think you're crazy, right? They're not going to think you're delusional. They're actually going to believe what you're saying. And so I think it's important to just remember who you're sharing this information with. Um, so, yeah. What do you think when you're talking to people about this type of stuff, what is some some of the things that they say? Like, I know understand that they're like, like you, they think that you're absolutely crazy but is there like a fundamental thing that they're not grasping that we can understand as a Sarsi community or help our galactics change the course of consciousness on this planet so I have actually been wondering that myself really recently so I'm not sure if I can provide an answer for you but um I I definitely think possibly, and this is just an assumption for me, but I think maybe the general public could have a potential to understand and maybe awaken if they bridge the gap between spirituality and science. Um, I think if there's enough science to prove some of this stuff exists, right, then people may be a little more open to it and open to understanding how it works. But I do think there is a lot of connections in the spiritual world and the science world like I think a lot of spiritual things probably with further research and a lot of money um could potentially be discovered 
you think there's a lot of pushback against the science community or do you think that they're doing it for our own protection um in what aspect usually a lot of people are afraid of the science community like the ai systems or okay, yes. mm-hmm. yeah like like a different type of stuff from the science community but do you think that in a sense that even though there's a lot of pushback do you think that a lot of galactus don't think that we're ready for this or do you think that there's a lot more mm-hmm. that needs mm-hmm. to be done as yeah I see, what you're I see what you're saying um in short, I don't think we're ready. Um, you know, I, I don't think we're ready to have a seat at the table at the F- Galactic Federation, if that's what you're asking. Um, I definitely don't think we're ready for that. Now, I think there's certain people who are, uh, you know, on Earth who are ready to be at that table. I think there's a lot of individuals probably ready, but the general public is not. And unfortunately, I think we do need to have a majority of the population ready to be able to have a seat at the table because ultimately what they decide on up there affects what happens down here. Right. We've seen that after time and time again. Um, I hope that one day in my lifetime we will have a seat at the table um I would love to see that happen but um I think just a lot more love and compassion needs to be happening on earth right we need to raise those frequencies and the only way we can do that is through you know certain acts like that and so uh, on a personal level I've been trying to just radiate a lot more of that in the world lately um obviously it doesn't you know it, it's going to take a lot more than a couple people or even a, a reddit community right but um i just think there needs to be a lot more unity love and compassion you know um i feel like after awakening i've started looking at a lot of different scenarios with not only in my life but other other people's lives you know miscommunications and conflict stuff like that and I'm really just thinking to myself if people took a step back and just communicated right like we would have so much more and and had compassion during arguments disagreements whatever I think we could just raise our vibration just like that like I think there's so much that people could be doing um but I think people are just stuck in their ways a lot you know some people have been acting the way they have for 20 30 years and they don't know any different um and so I think those are going to be the hardest people to kind of initiate and get them to understand what's happening because they they'll just be stuck in their ways and I think at that point you let them no you don't have to answer this other question that I have Mm -hmm. if it if it offends you don't have to answer it but I know that everybody's starseed awakening process is different. Do you believe that your mental health illness or mental breakdown or different types of negative aspects of the starseed awakening has some way contributed to your awakening process? Or do you think that it was just part of your ascension process or do you think that you were supposed to go through that or do you think that you were targeted to order to prevent your awakening process um yeah so I wouldn't say that I was targeted necessarily but I do think maybe in a past life you know maybe something happened and so I you know now struggle with mental health um I think maybe that could be a scenario that plays out. I would love, you know, to look more into that. But on another note, I think also, um, I think there's also a part that I think all, my galactic family was almost like testing me in a sense. Like they just kept giving me stuff and testing me like testing my strength right like they I believe that they a lot of stuff and a lot of situations happened in my life because they wanted to make sure I was strong enough to withhold the information they they were going to give me you know the um 
missions and goals they're going to give me one day, right? Like they wanted to make sure I could handle that because only a very strong person is going to be able to handle that kind of stuff ultimately. Um, and people who have gone through a lot of stuff in their life, you know, traumatic stuff, like ultimately that just creates a stronger person just from the get go. Um, and so I think that maybe in a sense I was targeted um, because of maybe like me in a past life going through something like that but I am not sure if it's connected um I just don't know do you think that in some aspects that the negative stuff that goes with people starting to figure out who they are or right before their awakening like something really Mm -hmm. negative happens do you think that it's part of some sort of awakening or ascension process or do you think that it's more like paying back karma or or debt or like what is your opinion about that no yeah um I think it's supposed to happen like that I think everyone is supposed to go through something like that you know whether it's gradual whether it's sudden I think someone is supposed to have something happen to them where it causes them to almost break in a sense, right? Like I had something happen to me um, when I awakened and the feeling that I had described to my friends when this really traumatic thing happened is that I felt like something broke in me. I felt like a piece of me broke. And I think at that moment, whatever broke allowed the galactic family and spirits to kind of come into my body and start my awakening process if that makes sense yeah that's that's really understanding I had something really really similar to your awakening process so that's the reason why I was asking to see if it was common with other starseeds so it's 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 really nice talking to another starseed that I'm not the only one that's had this issue p- towards their awakening process. And I have talked to other starseeds where they're from the corporate business world. They have want nothing to do with this UFO yep. and spiritual community. And they're like hardcore corporate people. And this doesn't even phase them whatsoever. But then all of a sudden they just have this internal crisis and it's like they just awoken or just awaken. So it's like really good to have different dynamics from different star seeds around the world because everyone's awakening process is different. And I think that a lot of people are still trying to understand like how does it happen or why does Mm -hmm. it happen to other people and not me in a sense Yes. And, yeah. And, and to, oh, go ahead. And a lot of the people that I have seen, like people who are, and in general, I understand the theory that a lot of people think that everyone on this planet is a star seed, mm-hmm. but I do believe that there are a few people that don't, can't have the awakening process or have really hard time getting to the point of awakening and they're, coming to the star seed and spiritual community and asking them is like how can i be contacted by the galactics like how can i be contacted and stuff because they truly genuine want to be part of this community but they just are just just not ready because of maybe their energy signature or consciousness but um I think that's actually super interesting that you brought that up because, and sorry for all the background noise, I just got home. Um, I think it's really interesting that you said that because I feel in a sense that when, you know, I mentioned a piece of me broke and this awakening process happened, I also think there was a part of me where my um, perspective shifted. And I think I needed to go through that mental health crisis and that breaking in me to have that perspective change. Like, and what I mean by that is a lot of stuff that used to bother me now doesn't. Like, I just don't see things on the same plane as I used to before. Like, stuff is just not a big deal to me anymore because I know that there's bigger things happening. The, the other question that I have, and I know that I know that you're really just starting out and being a beginner in the starseed and spiritual community, but 
Do you believe in the understanding of soulmates, twin flames? Like, do you believe in that? Do you believe that you might potentially have one? Yes. So I definitely believe in all of that. I do think I definitely have one as well. It's really interesting to me because I have a twin sister and she's definitely not my like twin flame at all, but it's really interesting how like, you know, um, things work on the human level and then also on the, on the galactic level. But as, as for soulmates, um, I am currently with a partner of two years. I don't know if they're my soulmate or not. Like I've really tried to meditate about it and I just can't get a clear answer, but he is also Arcturian. Um, and I think that says a lot right there. Um, and I guess I'm, I'm just, I feel like I almost don't want to, um, look into it because I mean I will look into it but at the same time like I think I just don't want to be wrong like I don't want to set myself up or something and then be wrong yeah that's a that's that's understandable a lot of people get on board with the soul maidens twin flame Uh train and they suddenly realize that they put too much effort or too much hope into it and then it suddenly right. fades fades away and stuff. Like I would be so interested to, you know, dive into that and see, you know, um potentially who it could be or, you know, more inf- information about it, but it's not something I'm really like I need to know immediately cuz you know, I like my life here on earth the way it is now. I mean, I'll say before, before my awakening, it was, I wouldn't have said the same thing, but I love my life now. And, you know, my partner is great and my friends are great and my family's great. And so I feel like this awakening has also helped me to kind of just enjoy my life here on earth a little more. Like, um, I had a message come through during a meditation the other day from possibly my galactic family. I'm not sure. Um, I labeled it as my spirit guide then, but thinking about it now maybe it could be different but they just kept telling me to enjoy my life here on earth and do all the earthly activities like the simple things right and so since then I've just been enjoying the simple things you know like taking a walk going to the park um you know grocery shopping with my partner like stuff like that you know like those were mundane activities that I used to be like oh it's just another part of life but that's an activity here on earth that may not happen on other places um and so I've just really tuned into kind of enjoying the simple things here on earth and it's given me a whole new perspective start so when you're starting out in the star seed and spiritual community what type of information that you come across in the star seed and spiritual community that you think that is lacking or needs work on um can you go ahead and repeat the question I'm sorry I'm just thinking of an answer but so when you're starting out in the starseed community and you're researching a bunch of stuff have you come across information or a question or anything from the metaphysical community that seems to be lacking or needs more research on Mm -hmm. in order to help other people um I think definitely more information needs to be put forth on um, how people can locate their origins. You know, right now it's either you pay for a reading or, um, you know, you know, you meditate on it. Right. Like, I don't think a lot of people understand how to read their natal chart. And I think there's so much information that can be um, utilized from a natal chart reading, you know, like, especially when you're looking at the aspects, like I had some aspects that suggested I was prophetic. And within the last week, I've really just tuned into that. And I feel like sometimes I definitely can kind of feel stuff that's going to happen in the future. Um, so I think it's really important that people kind of tune into that. What is what are some of the things that you have learned from astrology or from the natal natal chart that might help other people that are using this method to help them find their star origin? Like, 
like what do you tell people to like understand about astrology if they're Mm. on the fence about it so um I don't really have an answer in terms of, you know, how to help people understand it. I think there has just been a lot of negative connotations around astrology lately in society. You know, it's kind of been um, mocked per se. And so I think a lot of people kind of either listen to that or they feel a sort of shame around it, which is unfortunately really sad because like it's a very real thing and it's it's you know just as real as the next topic um but twofold um i think the second part to that is i would probably just tell someone looking at looking for their star origins like if there's an origin that you really feel you resonate with look into it research it go down those rabbit holes, right? Like the reason I went down all those rabbit holes for the Arcturians was because I kept just hearing my intuition go like more, more, more research, more, right? Like I really felt like I almost had this sense of like, um, the more information I was learning and unlocking was like bringing me to this like big focal point. And once I got to that focal point, um, I realized that my birthday, which is October 16th, is the day that the Arcturian gateway opens. It opens from October 16th to October 18th. And so my mind is just going crazy. Like I have, I have to be Arcturian. There's, there's just no way like, and so me going down all those rabbit holes brought me to that information. And so I think if you just listen to your intuition and keep going down those rabbit holes, you will find what you need to know. And I think the information that you need to know will make itself clear. But I mean, from some of the personal experience that you have had, Mm -hmm. is there any type of personal story, like experience or profound experience that you have had during your awakening that you want to share to people that might seem like they might might had similar experience with you that you want to share or if you have a story um I honestly don't think I have many stories um really the only one was that time when my star family was telling me how proud they were that that was honestly the biggest moment for me I haven't had anything happen since then um so in, in the last couple of days, especially, I've really been trying to just make contact and trying to hear from them. And um, so it it just goes back to my point of saying, be patient. Um, it's not always going to happen right away. You know, I think certain things have to happen before you can really communicate consistently and effectively with your star family. Um, but if you have patience, you know, it'll come. I think, you know, I waited how many ever years to get through my mental health struggles and I finally did and now I've discovered this huge thing that's changed my life it's changed my perspective and I think if I would have just given up and not been patient I would have missed out on all of this I would have missed out on everything that I didn't know that's the uh, that's understandable a lot of people feel like they're probably like I need to learn all this information or I'll fall behind and stuff. Um, What do you think is the overall message or the message that the Arcturians have for humans or for earth from your, from your awakening process? Um, I think the biggest message they have is to, um, I definitely think their biggest message is just to um, spread love and um, to not go through life in hate. And when I say that, I mean, do not base your decisions or your reactions off of hatred, base it off of love and compassion. Um, I feel like I get that message from them a lot. What do you think is the most disinformation that you heard about the Arcturians that you believe it's not true? 
Um, biggest information I've learned that I, I've not learned, but read is, um, I saw one time someone was trying to label the Arcturians as negative spirits and that's definitely in no way, shape or form. Correct. They, uh, the Arcturians auras are like white light sometimes. And most of the times, actually they have this like white light in them and, I just refuse to believe that negative entities would have white light in them. Like, I, I just refuse to believe that. And so the person that said that, I really feel like maybe was misinformed because, and that's another thing, like, I think society really thinks that all aliens are just bad. And it's like, there are races, galactic races that are literally trying to help and lead with this love and compassion, right? Like, so going back to your question about the general public, that's one thing I wish that they would understand is they're 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 definitely right. They there definitely are negative, you know, forces and races, but also there are positive ones as well. Um, and those are the ones we should be focusing on. Do you believe that as the Star Sea community, do you think that we need to start filtering information that isn't I guess, not for the greater good for the community? Um, I think... I think there's a lot of information out there that could possibly misconstrue um, what, I guess, the real star seeds are trying the real messages the star seeds are trying to get across so i think it's really important for potential and new star seeds to kind of know how to look for that disinformation right like i also think it's really really important to research the people who are making certain claims right like if they you know like i um and, and I think, again, like, this is just hard for people to really mark as true because of just how much information is not out there. There's, there seems to be a lot of, I guess you want to say, pushback about channeling and channeling your galactic family or channeling messages and stuff. Uh -huh. Do you believe that when you're meditating or connecting to them, do you think that they're directly channeling through you? Do you believe that it's beneficial or evil? Like, have you experienced what channeling is to you? Um, not necessarily. Um, I haven't really quite kind of dived. Go, you know, I kind of really haven't. Um, looked into that a lot so I would love to be able like I personally I feel this sense of that is my goal but that's kind of what I want to confirm with my galactic family because I'm honestly not sure it's just a feeling I get sometimes where I feel that maybe I'm meant to pass along messages um, to people and even when I was younger when I was maybe like 10 or 11 I remember this show Long Island Medium came out and I so badly wanted to, like, be a medium and be able to provide messages to people. Um, and it's really interesting kind of coming back full circle to that now, feeling like maybe I am a mediator, you know, where I'm supposed to give off messages from the Galactic Federation or the Galactic Family, um, I feel like maybe that's something that I'm supposed to be doing, but again, I'm not sure. In order to um, wrap up this interview, is there any messages or pieces of information that you want to share for newly awakened starseeds that are on their journey? Do you have any advice that you want to give them or any type of message that you want to give to other Octarians starseeds? Um. So I think the biggest thing that I want to get across is really utilize the people um, in the community, you know, reach out to people. I've found that 
there's really not a lot of people in this community who don't want to talk about their experience or don't want to help. Like everyone I've ever come across or messaged or asked a question or, you know, replied to has always just been so warm and loving and open to providing information for me. Um, They've been open to having a conversation like, and it's just really, really, really nice to be able to have that with someone. And especially as a new starseed, it's really just warm and feel it's a really really good feeling to have someone believe you and have a a similar mindset to you um so I would just encourage everyone to reach out in the community if you're feeling alone or you have questions you know ultimately my bottom line here is everyone's here to help each other and you can always feel that you can always always feel that energy Well, I wanted to say thank you so much for coming on my show. Yeah, I'm so, so happy I was able to talk to someone, actually. Like, I genuinely am feeling so um, just happy and excited that there's someone doing this and talking to other people and getting other mindsets because ultimately I think if, you know, someone in the future were to listen to this podcast and understand that there's different experiences that people go through you know they might resonate with it a little more I think there's also a big portion of this community that feels like it's supposed to be a certain way and it's supposed to go a certain way and you're supposed to have the exact experience that someone else has and that's definitely just not true yes that's that's very true not a lot of people have not a lot of people need to understand that you don't really need to put yourself in a box when you are exploring your spirituality or under trying to understand yourself that everyone's awakening process is different everyone's story is unique and Uh it's really really good to share your story with other starseeds because starseeds that are just starting to waking might stumble across this video and it might help them to ascend or awaken and stuff. And I just want to say thank you so much for coming on my channel and being brave and understanding and sharing your story. And I really do appreciate it. And I just want to say thank you so much for coming on my channel and thank you so much for sharing your story. Yeah. Thank you so much for having me. I'm I'm so happy that we were able to do this and um, we were we were able to chat about it. So it, it just feels so good to know someone else in the community and talk about my experiences and not not feel like I'm crazy. <laughs> yes, I know a lot of people really do believe that they're crazy or like there's not other people out there that are like them. But I do believe that the more videos that come out with other Cerseys sharing their journey and story to other people, I think it really would help yeah, the human definitely. consciousness and the awakening process on this planet for the general public. Yeah, I agree as well. Well, thank you so much for coming on, and I really hope that you have a wonderful week. Thank you. Thank you. So, so do you. Have a good one. Yeah, you too. Okay, bye.